All right. Uh, so, just saw the trailer for the new Christmas horror film, horror comedy, I should say, Krampus. Uh, for those who don't know what a Krampus is, uh, l let me explain. The Krampus in most uh, European mythology and most holidays, where we just have Santa Claus, in truth, there is another creature on the in the um, in European you know Christmas that you know while Santa's doing his rounds, there's something following Santa Claus, and he's in it basically for all the naughty children, and that creature is the Krampus. The Krampus is a demon like, is a demon who more or less captures naughty children, puts them in a sack, then drags them away to some unknown location in, I think, the North Pole or somewhere, and then proceeds to beat them up on end with uh, with a whip made of bundles of sticks and chain them up and then proceed to eat them. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, the Krampus is a very interesting character. I mean, yeah, we just have Funnel, Santa Claus... But, the, you know, kids in Europe are like, oh, we gotta be good or the Krampus is gonna fucking kill us in the most brutal way possible. So this movie is taking the Krampus story and putting it into a horror feel. Now, right out the bat of this trailer, which came out... It actually came out... Uh, I think it got released a day early by um, by a German group, you know, by a Universal Pictures, uh, Universal Studios Germany and Italy... And then the next day they were like, "Well, let's just release it. Release it in English. In English, yeah, tongue tied." But yeah, this film I'm actually really excited about. I, I totally forgot when uh, when the film was announced, like at Comic Con, the the poster for it was like, "Oh, the Krampus. That's a cool idea. Let's play with that." Because I've always I've always known about it, but and I've seen films about the Krampus, none of which are good. None of which I've seen movies with the Krampus in it, and I've never really been like, ooh, the Krampus, it's... Wow, this is just a bad film. With this, I have actually higher hopes, because this is actually coming... The director of this film and writer of this film is actually one of the writers from such films as Trick or Treat, who, which is a very cool horror movie, if you ask me, as well as he was the writer... It's it's um, it's Michael Daughtry, who, as most of you guys would know, was the writer for X2, who helped write... Uh, with alongside Brian Singer, X2, as well as uh, X-Men Days of Futures Past. So I'm actually looking forward to this movie. I'm very much looking forward to this film being made and, you know, coming out December 4th. And let me tell you, December looks like it's going to be just chock full of stuff. Like, we got Kramp... I think Krampus is going to be... I think it comes out December 4th, so this will be, like, the opening movie. And then you've got so, so many other films coming out. You know, you've got The Hateful Eight. You've got, um, of course, The Force Awakens. You've got so many films coming out in December. I just have a feeling that all those other films, unfortunately, are going to be... Well, it's... Uh, it's the it's goddamn Star Wars, so everything's going to be overshadowed, unfortunately. But anyway, I digress. So, from the trailer, we see that the, it's going to fall focus around a family that is very dysfunctional. Like you see, like I kind of have this problem with my family in, in some points, but it's never gotten like this bad. So apparently, it's a, all of their negativity has attracted the cre the Krampus. And the Krampus in here is a lot different from the mythology in, in in which it's based off of. We now, the Krampus in here looks like he's going to have toys, as is you know he's going to have demonic toys, which automatically made me think of demonic of the d demonic toys movies. You guys remember those? You guys remember those movies? If you do, then yay, <laughs> because those are not good films in the slightest. But. You, you you gotta remember them because they have a it's it's a cult film so I just couldn't help with that also when um, one of the when there's a shot of a killer bear coming at them I was like did they just look at Five Nights at Freddy's and just go yeah let's have a killer bear in here <laughs> oh man but anyway with um with this we also you know it does have an evil dead feel that's what i really like is that this definitely has an evil dead 2 kind of feel because this like i said this is a horror comedy so you, i can definitely get a feeling especially you have um adam scott in here who's known for parks and recreation as well as um david kosher who most of you guys would know from you know a lot of the films he featured in with will ferrell and uh 
Yeah, I think I think they're both pretty funny. I think um, they're going to be the leading parts of this film. But this trailer does have some good jokes in here. But it does look like it's going to be a horror film because there are some moments in here. I was like, God damn, I almost forgot this was a horror comedy. So it looks like the Michael Daughtry is going back to because got to remember, Evil Dead Two, despite being funny, did have its good amount of scares to it. It really did have you know some good amount of scares to that film, you know, to its merit as well. And, you know, even Drag Me to Hell, another Sam Raimi film, despite being, you know, portrayed as a horror film, it did have funny elements in there. You know, you can do horror comedy. I mean, we've seen this before, not just with Sam Raimi horror films, but also, you know, with Shaun of the Dead and, you know, several others in that like. So, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm, if you can balance the horror and the comedy, then by all means go, you know, go balls out on it. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I think this is really cool. Another thing that got me was that there's a lot of practical effects in this film. There, you know, the Krampus itself, we don't really, we just see the Krampus as this big, hunched over, you know, uh, cre you know, goat-like creature with, uh, you know, the St. Nicholas uh, garb draped over it. And... It looks cool, like it looks like a guy in a suit, and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" Because I thought they would, and there will, there probably will be CGI in this film. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna denounce that this film will be all, you know, you know, all practical effects. I think there will be some CGI. Even you know, Mad Max had as practical effects as it what ha as it had. It did have you know CGI in the film. You could see, you know, it was hard to tell, but you could see it in some places. So that's what I'm thinking, is that this, and even the toys themselves, they look like they're all puppet animation or guys in suits, and I thought that was really cool. So, you know, and it always makes me happy when you see big budget movies going all out for, um, you know, doing something like this, especially when you have, you know, great writer, you know, a really good writer behind this, as well as, you know, good actors in this film as well. So I think this is going to be... I just think it's going to be a really fun film. It's I, I definitely have a sense that this is going to be an underrated film, because obviously, with, um, like I said earlier, this, you know, this December is going to be chock full of stuff, and I feel like the I feel like Krampus is going to be, well, thrown under the bus, even though it's, that's why I think, you know, December 4th, it's the opening week of December, so, you know, hopefully you can get some good numbers in here. Now, hopefully it can do well, because I do think this is going to be a really fun, just out there, uh, Christmas horror film. Because here's the thing, I really want a Christmas horror film to be good. I don't think we've had one of those since Black Christmas, and even, th and I'm not talking the remake, I'm talking the original film, and even then, that's a stretch. And even Silent Night, Deadly Night, uh... I'm not, you see, there, it's, a, it's a problem with doing Christmas horror films, because we don't really think about Christmas as a time for, you know, blood and guts and all that, so... That's why I think I've always, you know, Christmas films have always kind of struggled a bit. You know, Christmas horror... Christmas film... Horror films centered around Christmas, there's the word I was looking for, have always kind of struggled a bit, you know? They've always kind of had that, um... That kind of... Uh, stigma because it's supposed to be a time of fun and merriment and you know peace on earth and goodwill towards men and marketing you know for buy our shit and then you get blood and horror and stuff so maybe that can kind of, maybe we can finally get a good Christmas horror film that's that's kind of what I want in this kind of end game right now that's kind of what I want in in terms of it so you guys tell me what do you guys think of the upcoming Krampus film do you guys like the idea do you guys hate the idea um, so, really curious to know, because I feel like this is going to be a, you know, hopefully it'll be a fun film. Hopefully it'll be a fun horror comedy film. That's all I ask. But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.